So today's video, I'm going to look at the Epson EB148 SFI. This video has been a long time coming and I'm going to explore five amazing features this does. But before we get into it, a little bit of theory, a little bit of thinking about why this came to be. So first of all, this study was born as a collaboration between Ross Morrison McGill and Epson. Ross Morrison McGill blogs at the Teacher Toolkit and he did a study um, in conjunction with Epson that worked on with 300 teachers, 150 primary, 150 secondary. And 40% of those teachers reported problems with students viewing the screen and being disaffected as a result in the learning. So Epson came about with this new projector that projects 100 to 120 inches of projection, so nice big images. And the idea is no blind spots within the classroom. And we specially configured our room and the way the projector sits to make sure this is absolutely the case for when we open the future classroom. So a couple of quick things about the projector behind me. First of all, it's really simple to navigate. It's quite intuitive, easy to use. It's fantastic for collaboration. Six people can work on this at any given time, which is wonderful. It can have four split screen images and you can slide the screens across vary the background and the thing I really like is that the light bulbs behind me on the, on the projector have their 20,000 hours of lumen lights which is if I put it on today it'd still be going in three years time so I think that's quite a cool fact to kick this video off with. So this is a study about the cheap seats, it's about Epson projector and it's about five amazing things and we're going to get straight into it now. So feature one is the drag and resize option. So if we go over here to the little column, it's all touch screen, you can also use pens. I'll just touch this little pen, come up here and maybe I'll use like a medium font. And today we're going to do a lesson on triangles. So there's my title, it's my lesson objective. We're looking at triangles. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the shapes down here and I want to create maybe an equilateral triangle. So I can just create one there. In fact, I can create as many as I like. I can do triangles all over the board if I wish. And then I could talk and describe from there and we'll show you the resize option next. The other thing that I think is really different and really great with this projector is that you can change the background. So if you're doing a maths lesson, you can come over here to this feature and you can have some maths grids. And this comes up with maths grids in the background. So maybe you want some geography grid references and you can see it changes it to that. And maybe you want to do some line work for English. You can just change it back into that. Uh, maybe you can go vertical lines and there's loads of different options on how you can change your background. So the next thing I really like about this projector is that you can have four different screens displaying images uh, at the same time and you can just scroll the scuff. So you can have four lots of information up on this one screen that's really easy to navigate. So a little bit like having the browser tabs but a lot more interactive. So you can see at the bottom they've got little tab numbers. So imagine I'm doing a lesson on circles year seven, period one. Here it is. Bang, it's up there. Then I can just skip across. I've got my year. Uh, my next objective is we're doing squares. Very basic maths list, just an example. And then I'll scroll across again. And here I've got my triangles lesson ready to go. And then last of all, I'm going to do teacher training on the future classroom for staff. So I'm able just to scroll across. I can bring document camera images in. I can play videos. And in a second, I'm going to show you some really fancy software called Mosaic. So I'm going to show you a program using something called Mosaic 3D. And it's a way of bringing 3D models into the classroom. So behind me, we have the Colosseum Amphitheater. This is Rome. And I'm just going to take you through a few, a few of the features to get into the... Uh, Spirit of Things, let's get some music on it, gives you a nice little soundtrack. So there we go, you can hear the music in the background. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at the arena, which is down here. And then we can have a look at the Colosseum. Go inside the Colosseum, then we can cut it away. Strip it right back, do a cross section. We can look at the architecture and the engineering of this amazing structure. We can time travel, so quick video. We can do animation. Amphitheaters were typically elliptical based structures that primarily served as venues. And we can go for a walk, this is my favourite feature. You can actually go and check out some gladiators, have a walk around, and have a look inside the Colosseum. Thank you. 